Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to solve the problem palindrome number. Given an integer x, return true if x is palindrome integer. So what is a palindrome integer? An integer is a palindrome when it reads the same backward as as, as well as forward. So for, ex for example, 1 to 1 is a palindrome because it is same uh, forward as back as well as backward. Whereas 1 to 3 is not because uh, forward it is 1 to 3, whereas backward it is 3 to 1. So typically in an interview, you should not uh, straight away jump into the coding or maybe think about your approach. So before that, you need to check the check with the interviewer about constraints. Constraints are different type of inputs. So uh, here it is given as the x can be in the range of minus 2 power 31 to 2 power 31 minus 1. So typical typical integer range. So uh, the input can be a negative number or it can be a positive number or it can have zero. So let's take a few examples. Uh, there can be again uh, two type of inputs. The input can have even number of uh, digits like this, or it can have odd number of digits. An in input can be a zero, zero is a palindrome, and it input can be a number which is divisible by 10, like 100. So when you reverse 100, it becomes one, zero, zero, one, which is one, and it is not a palindrome. And it can have one, zero, one, so uh, there can be zero in the input, but again, it can be a palindrome. And as we have seen there can be negative numbers yeah so these are different type of inputs that we need to take care so basically when the number is zero it is a palindrome whereas when the number is divisible by 10 it is not a palindrome and if the number is negative it is not a palindrome so we need to handle these cases and how we are going to solve our core problem whether to check if the given integer is palindrome or not let's take this example so what we are going to do is we will uh, keep reducing this number and uh, basically we divide the number and try to, uh, try to get the remainder from the backwards so in the first iteration we will get one then we we try to construct with the given uh, with the uh, digits that, that we obtain we try to construct rever reverse integers so basically we we want to divide this given number to half and then construct reverse uh, reverse integer from the other half and then check if both are same so let's run through this example so initially uh, the x will be 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Whereas after first iteration, we will be having 1, 2, 3, 2, whereas reverse will be 1. After second iteration, we will have x equal to 1, 2, 3, whereas reverse will be like 1, 2. The, after third iteration, we have 1, 2 as x, whereas reverse is 1, 2, 3. So at this point, we will stop because either x is equal to reverse or x is less than reverse. So at this point, we will stop and check if, if the numbers are the same. Uh, in this example, 1 to 2, 1, you will have x equal to 1, 2, whereas reverse equal to 1, 2, and both are same, and so this is a palindrome. Whereas in this case, we have 3 digits in reverse and whereas 2 digits in x. So basically, we need to check, we need to just remove this 3 and compare. So we divide reverse by 10 and then check if both are same. So let's write the code. So the first condition is check for uh, error handling. Like if x is less than 0, special, error handling are special cases. If x is less than 0, it is a negative number, so it is not a palindrome. Or if x is divisible by 10, x percent 10 equal to 0. And at the same time, x is not equal to 0. So if, x, if x is 0, then it is a palindrome. So in these cases, it is not a palindrome. Now we need to construct reverse integer. So let's take a temporary variable. Then we need to loop. We need to run our loop till x is greater than reverse. As soon as x becomes equal to reverse or x is less than reverse, we will break the loop. Then take remainder. So how do we get the remainder? x percent 10. Then construct uh, reverse integer. So reverse equal to reverse star 10 plus remainder. Then reduce our integer x. x equal to x by 10. So x by equal to 10. This is short form for x equal to x by 10. Now, as we discussed, there are two cases. One is even number of digits or odd number of digits. So when it is even number of digits, we just need to check if x equal to equal to reverse. Or if there are odd number of digits, we need to check if x equal to equal to reverse by 10. As we discussed in the previous example, we need to divide reverse by 10 and then check if they are equal. So let's use test examples and check if, if it works fine. Yeah, this works fine. So it's always better to check a few more examples. 0, 100, 
minus 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, there is some issue. x percent 10 equal equal to 0 or x not equal to 0. Just a typing mistake. And, and x not equal to 0. When x is divisible by 0, it should not be a 0. Because x percent 0 again gives you 0. So, but 0 should not be a, uh, 0 should be a palindrome number. See the advantage of testing with different different inputs. So I added zero here that uh, corrected me uh, the mistakes in the first line. So let's submit and check the runtime. So one more tip. So you should always dry run your code with different inputs before you actually discuss with the interviewer. Yeah, so runtime of 33 milliseconds. And let's look at the time complexity. So the first if loop, it is just constant time because we are just checking one if condition. So it is a constant time. Then the while loop runs for, uh, let's see with an example. So if x is 10, it runs one time. So if x is 100, it may run at max two times. If x is 1000, at max it will run for three times because every time you are dividing with x by 10. So basically it is logarithm of, logarithm of 10. So log x to the base 10. So the time complexity here is log x to the base 10, whereas Based on, whereas space complexity, we are not using any additional space here other than a temporary variables, which doesn't take much, which takes just constant space. So it is O of 1. Space complexity is O of 1. So that's all in this video. Thanks for watching.